Hey guys, I'm Jeff and you're watching Valley Fish. Uh, still in the process of tearing tanks down from the old house and bringing them over to the new house. Uh, easiest way to do that today uh, when I was just there doing the yard and stuff like that was reached in, grabbed three of the uh, Pleco Caves and it's pretty much full of my monsters. So my albino long fins breed pretty much 90% males. So I got a bunch of them. But I'm going to go through, and I do have a female in one of these tens. And until I get the 20 rack put together, hopefully in the next week and a half or so, I'm going to drop him in with her. And then the other two are going to go, mine might go in the 75, and the other probably down this 29. But I'll put the best one with that female, so when I break that tank down into a bigger tank, I'll be able to switch them over. And he pretty much just hangs out in the cave anyway, so I don't think he'll mind for short term. But... Uh, the whole thing of this video is hopefully when I pull the cover off, you'll get a really nice view of them. I have a little video clip I'll add to it when I was carrying them through the yard. When I was really calm with the water, they didn't move at all. And then when I was like walking and the water was all shaky, they were going crazy. And there's a, a really nice one. There's one that has a fin that's curled. And I, I don't have any intentions on breeding that one. But uh, just kind of prepping for the future uh, it's definitely a line that I want to continue working so you'll see the bucket that I just brought in and uh, actually went and had uh, lunch and now we're gonna release them which they actually acclimated temperature wise is a little cooler in here but anyways what you guys want to see the fish all Anything? right like I said in the tour these are all temporary but I never did go over any of the angels so these are my Philippine blue angels. They're pretty. They're not looking real blue. Not very blue right now. I don't know why. Probably because I just kicked my lights on. But I got them with a whole cloud of full reds. Woo. It's kind of a nice mix. They get along pretty good. And the light's not on down here. Let's see if we can kick that on there's some chocolate standards down in here in one albino and they i thought there was a female but they might all be males they were kind of juveniles when i put them all in here but this tank is looking good as i get attacked by a kitten all right crips are doing a lot better in this water got a lot more growth than uh, i had for years at the old place and Val is looking really good. I'm going to break that down into a solo tank because it'll outrun my crypts. And you need to leave the camera alone because I don't like it when it's shaky. But this is a Starburst line. Um, it just throws a little bit of everything. And it'll be broken down from a 29 to a 20 high. And all the crypts will go in one tank. The Val will go in another. And half the substrate will probably go with one and then the other with the other. So... That'll get rid of that tank, and I'll probably just sell it. Um, 29s really don't have a place right now, because this is going to be 12, 20 highs. Mm, then another rack of 10s with a 40. I haven't decided here. This rack is actually set for more 20s, but after having 12, 20 highs, I think that's probably enough. <sighs> Garfield, need to do something with him. Keep saying that. Just a few fry in there. So anyways, this is what hopefully makes the video worthwhile. So when I flip this cover over and pull the air stone out. Hopefully. So I've had these for years. These actually came from Pete Mang. And I got them free, 10 of them, when I got some guppies. But they're going to not be real active so which is fine i think how i'm going to transfer them i'm going to put a cave in there and wait till each one of them takes a cave because they'll probably do that and then just set the cave in the tank i want them to go but they're looking good that one's got a snail on his face that's the one with the curved fin not crazy about breeding that one but i'll let them stick my own pleasure. That's a really nice one. Um, I like this one the best. 
So it'll be my breeder. They're both pretty much the same. It might be a thumbnail pick, that'd be cool. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys go so I can move some stuff. Well, I put the cave in there. This is the one that I want to breed. Mm, it's going to startle me. I'm going to throw water everywhere. I can feel it. But I'm trying to get him to go in the cave. Ah, scared of him. I want you to go in the cave so I can transfer you really nicely. Go in the cave, silly. You won't go in the cave because I don't want you to go in the cave. But if I was touching your tail, you might turn in there. You don't like me. Says I don't like you. Come on. You make this easy on both of us. Let's go in there. Come on. Come on. Gonna go with the uh, the old cup method. He doesn't like it. I feel him kicking. If he would just let go. I would make your life and my life better. Come on. There you go. I don't know if I got any of that on camera, but the monsters in there. So temporarily, this one is going to go in with the shrimp. He should be happy. And we're on to the final one. This is the dude with the little crooked fins. Still pretty. Just not a breeder. Drill up. Good job. Right in the cup. And ask for more. And uh, I'm going to put him in this 29 with the other puck out of some till I decide what I'm doing with him. Oh, he's not happy. He's kicking around like crazy. He like his new home. A lot more light than he's used to, but I'd set the cup down. They're pretty. He's also a pretty big boy. He looks like he's pretty happy. He'll find that cave and probably never leave. This guy was ruffling his tail around all over. Not happy, not happy, not happy, not happy. Just did a water change on this tank and there is a hang on bag up there. One of them. I'll probably catch most of that muck. He just needs to figure out he needs to go to the other corner. Hang out with the other peckers. Sorry, little dude. He'll figure it out. There's a lid on this tank that will keep him from jumping. I'll cover the other ones so nobody jumps out being spooked. They're awful pretty, though. I just ran around the tank. Get a look at his bristles. He is a monster.
They look awesome when they get big. It's kind of hoping he would take off. You can see him with his fins all spread out. But he's just excited. Been a lot for him today. It's pretty starburst. And that's not a starburst. So a lot of work to do with it on them guppies. But so sorry for the horrible. There's the mail. I know the glass is horrible. It's a not a viewing panel, but there's the uh, the female hiding out under the sponge. It's on the back side of the rack. I just kind of let it go for the shrimp. So you can see, that's what it looks like. A lot of calcium buildup on that. I'll scratch it eventually, but there's the pair. So I put in a Hakari algae wafer as a distraction for him. Just to see if he would calm down a little bit. He looks like he's awful interested in it. Try and zoom in, sorry. Curious. Cause, uh, I don't like you could be eating that algae wafer. I would like to eat it. So I don't want to get too close because he's already spooked enough. Awful oh, pretty fish. There he goes. He's like, oh, he overshot it. But he's pretty much a monster for this little thing. Temporary. He won't be in there very long. But he still wants that algae wafer. 